Hi, my name is Natasha Nurani. You might know me from my music or from Lahore Music Meet or from Peshkash and this is TBR Done. I am a singer-songwriter, a playback singer, and I'm trying to become a producer now as well. Um, I started writing songs when I was about seven or eight on the Windows sound recorder thing, so that's where the songwriting started. But my first music lesson was from my mother, who made me sing "My Heart Will Go On" on repeat, like for months, until I perfected it. My first gig was outside McDonald's Fortress Stadium when it had just opened and I sang Just Bajanoon with the piano uncle outside. And then my first gig gig was opening for Nudie when I was 14 at a school function. So it was really interesting studying music uh, since it wasn't an option to study that locally and to really see how music in Pakistan interacts with society and the kind of popular culture that has come out over the past you know, 70 odd years. So it was really nice to have the freedom to explore that. I ended up studying a lot of very interesting things uh, like Shivi music and one of the more interesting papers that I wrote was studying the um, progress, evolution and trends within um, Islamic sound art, so studying the ways that um, digital audio softwares are utilized by people who are developing and producing knots and nohas. So Peshkash is a research hub that's designed to study uh, Pakistani music history by collecting oral narratives and sound recordings, both amateur and professional. And we're trying to ensure that all of this is preserved and promoted and that more and more people are given access to Pakistani music and its history. Um, this basically stemmed out of the fact that for the past four or five years, my research has been about, you know, these artists and these infrastructures and this ecosystem. So it seemed like a natural extension of that, that made it easier to share my nerdy research bits with as many people as possible. So through my Peshkash research and digging through archives and buying vinyl and cassettes and things like that, I think the more interesting things that I found was one that Basarat Nazir, who's known for her Punjabi songs, uh, has an entire album where she's singing uh, Bonnie M songs in Hindi. And so that's very interesting to me. Another tidbit that I found in doing this research was that Sohail Rana's Khaybar Mail, which was released in 1970. The artwork for that was done by like famous archivist Lutfullah Khan. So that crossover completely blew my mind. I think over the past few years, the way my sound has evolved from my first EP, Munasib, is that I'm listening to a lot more local producers and not just people who you know started springing up in 2010 onwards, but dating back to the 70s. And it's been very interesting to see artists like Nahi Bakhtar, who I had only heard in you know limited proportions and listening to a lot more female vocalists and artists and them taking on so many different genres whereas today you might just be boxed into one uh, sound you would be typecast based on your voice so it's been really interesting to know that you were allowed to bend the rules a little and experiment a lot um, back then so it's been nice to just get inspiration and see what other women in popular music have been doing in Pakistan as opposed to having to you know, reach from other sources to get inspiration or an understanding of what this means. is.
Uh, it's been very cool working with Talal because we started this collaboration in 2019 and the song has gone through multiple iterations since then. Like the first version of this was at least 30 BPM slower and sounded completely different. And since then and till, up until the release, we have been able to see each other perform live, which we hadn't previously. And so I think we were able to incorporate our sounds together a lot better. And um, and yeah, now it's released and out there, and the feedback's been great. It's uh, it's definitely new for people who've heard my previous album. I don't think they're used to the sound from me, so I'm enjoying listening to the kind of feedback that we have. So I think all of these things with the festival, with Peshkash, with research, I think the main thing is I wish that I had these options when I was growing up, when I was, you know, 10, 15 years younger, to have a community building space that was also a concert um, to look up to, to build up to, or, you know, even have access to my own heritage and my own music history. So I think the premise for all of this is that I really just would have wanted these to exist for me and I hope that we can help these you know, institutions exist for as long as they can because this is what I can provide to the current infrastructure as much as I can with all the energy and resources that I may have and the skills that I've collected over the years. So that and I'm just genuinely very interested in kind of learning about these things and creating some kind of uh, understanding that music has played an important role in Pakistani society. The question that I get asked the most is music ka kya scene hai yaar? Um, bik, sorry, you need to mute yourself. <laughs> that was a serious response. <laughs> okay, okay. Zen face. The question that I get asked the most is music ka kya scene hai yaar? Because that means that people haven't been able to tap into all of the really wonderful music that has been coming out for the last 10 years. Music scene as in the music industry is not great because there is just a lot of music and that's not reaching an audience. Um, you know, even people that would appreciate it or the genre or the language it's being written in. So I think it would be nice to have a lot more curators and people on the back end of it helping artists because as an artist you have to end up doing your own PR, your own video shoots, your own kind of um, production, just different aspects of the back end is just all on you and that's a huge burden. So the more people that actually enter the industry in different aspects, I think that would just really help. And we've got lots of really talented young people who are now turning into filmmakers and doing things that are in and around the music industry. So it'd be great to see more collaborations between, you know, more young people. So Imran Khan's Unforgettable, that album that came out for me is like top 10 albums to have ever come out of the South Asian region. Like for me, it's a very important album growing up and I say this completely unironically, like it's it's just great. It's fantastic, it's perfect, it's 2011, what a great time to be alive, what a horrible time to be alive, but it was, it was with this soundtrack. So like I used to do covers of songs like Amplifier or of, uh, I've done one of Princess Annie's Mahia. I used to do these back when I was 14 and the main reason for doing this was because it was great music so it's been nice to go back to that and then to have Imran Khan retweet it like that's it this calls for retirement I have needed nothing is going to be better for me in my musical career than just that kappa of approval and that's it.